It's all I wanna do. Topic for today is addictions. I've had some pretty fucked up addictions. And obviously I don't mean fucking like snorting cocaine and killing hookers and shit, that's fucked up. But like actual small addictions that I did every day. One of them, which was really bad, actually, and I don't know if you consider this an addiction, but I used to watch Breaking Bad every single day of my life. And honestly, I was just in love with that show. I mean, I still am. It's just I'm done the series, so it's not like that amazing anymore. But don't get me wrong, it's like the most amazing series I've ever watched in my life. Another small addiction I had was actually just cracking my knuckles. A lot. Oh, and my toes. Oh, fuck. I used to crack my toes every day. And I know that's kind of random for like a commentary to just talk about addictions. But the reason I bring this up is because I saw this show. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but it's called My Strange Addictions. And it's the show that just takes people, right, and their fucked up addictions. And they're, they like expose them to the world and like, hey, this guy's fucked up. Anyway, so I was looking at the show and there's this one guy. This one fucker, okay. I kid you not, he was in love with his car. Oh, come on, Darcy, that's not bad. A lot of people love their car. No, like, this guy fucking loved his car. Like, this guy would fucking fuck his car. And that's not even a joke, honestly. This guy actually just put his dick in the exhaust of his car. This guy literally wanted babies with his car. This, like, that doesn't even make sense. I think at one point he actually tried to marry it too, like, what the fuck? I actually do believe that it's possible to love objects. I just find that if it's, you know, if it's been with you for a while and, you know, for one reason or another it means a lot to you, I think it's possible to actually, like, have that affection towards an object. When it gets to the point where you want to fuck your own car, that's, that's a little much. I used to really love this fucking watch, okay? And this wasn't even a real watch. Did you just collide us for fucking... But yeah, the watch wasn't even fucking real. I got it in a kid's Happy Meal at McDonald's. But I was only in like, what, second grade at the time? So that's like, six years old. Ooh, get this, oh, what the fuck? And I didn't care if it was fake. It didn't cost lots of money. It just looked cool because it had like fake buttons on it and you could pretend to click them and shit. But I mean, at six, you do anything, right? So I wore that shit every day. It actually made me feel like a pimp. Ah, make jokes. Hey, you wore a fake fucking watch for a year. I don't think you heard me before, but this guy tried to fuck his car. Another strange addiction that I actually read about was this old lady, okay? Now, I mean, I say old, but actually I have no idea how old she was. She looked like she was like 40, which isn't that old, I guess, but anyway. She actually had an addiction for eating cat hair. This bitch had like 10 fucking cats. Fucking 10 of them. And every fucking time in the morning, she'd get them all in the line and she'd fucking take turns licking their backs. She'd lick their fucking hair off. Like, it doesn't even fucking make sense. And I'm not dissing them for having fucked up addictions. I don't know them personally. They could be the nicest people in the world. I just find it a little weird how you're trying to lick your fucking cat, okay? I don't know if I feel sorry just because I'm Canadian. They are known for the rest of their lives as that guy who fucks his car and that girl who licks her own cat. Cats! With an S. Oh well, there's just some things in this world you can't change.